Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Today I want to talk about a little piece of archaeology, biblical archaeology right here. I just got an uh, article here I just want to share with you. I'm sure you probably know this discovery, but still, I just felt, you know, I just want to share it with you. It's uh, the Caiaphas ossuary that was discovered. And on the side of it said Joseph, son of Caiaphas, an Aramic inscription on the side was on the side. So I just want to read the little article, and uh, here we go. The Caiaphas family burial cave was discovered in southeastern Jerusalem that had 12 ossuaries, which were bone boxes, from the first century CE. Construction workers in November 1990 made a discovery in Peace Forest near the North Talpiot neighborhood. The construction superintendent reported it to the Antiquities Authority after to the tomb's roof was opened by a bulldozer revealing the rock-hewn burial cave. It was typical of the Second Temple period in Jerusalem and one of many in the Jerusalem, you know, places. The twelve ossuaries were in four cave niches and six had been disturbed by grave robbers. The most elegant was found with the name of the deceased Joseph, son of Caiaphas, appearing twice. It held the bones of two infants, two teenage boys, an adult woman, and a man about 60 years old. The bones were eventually reburied on the Mount of Olives. Joseph, the son of Caiaphas, was a Jewish high priest from 18 CE. Archaeologists surmise from the inscription and the elaborate decorations that this is the actual ossuary of Caiaphas, Jewish high priest of the New Testament. The limestone ossuary me measures 37 centimeters high by 75 centimeters long and is housed in the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. Now, of course, you know, reading the, studying the, the Gospels, you know, Caiaphas, you know, was one of the if not the ringleader of the crucifixion of Yeshua, you know, he was uh, basically one of Herod's uh, stooges that was, you know, had the honors of being a priest, if you want to call call him a priest, I mean, but anyways, this, this discovery was, you know, unexpected, of course, but it was breathtaking, and on the side of it, there's uh, things like, you know, engravings like of plants and vegetables things you know things like that on there is what it looks like and uh they found 12 of them and uh possibly it could have been the high priest himself most likely it, it was his but you know we don't know how many other people shared that name that specific name as he he had but it was just interesting and uh you know just something 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 i just wanted to share with you because you know it's important because you know stuff like that this actually this was on the news i remember when when they discovered this and it came out it was actually actually on news networks they was talking about it just like the one where they was talking about uh the one uh, ossuary that was discovered with the name of james on it and they thought it was yeshua's family but then others turned around and said no it's a fraud you know forgery whatever but yeah this this was a major find and no telling what else they're going to find in the future, you know, that so there's a lot of stuff buried in junk piles under the ground behind stone hills, mountains, whatever. There's a lot of stuff to be discovered. And I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, thank you again for, you know, joining me. And uh, please, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and uh, give me a big like. And I uh, thank you again. And with that said and done, peace out and shalom.